In this video, we're gonna talk about upgrading the stock bolt for the 6BTA idler pulley um, from this stock 10 millimeter bolt to this um, 7 16 hardened grade eight bolt. Uh, very similar bolt. I was able to source this one at the hardware store. I was very happy when I found it. It's the same style. It has the, uh, the built-in washer as this. So it really, it resembles the stock bolt, but it's, it's larger, it's a bit longer because we're gonna drill out the bracket and we're gonna through bolt it through the back. Um, the pulley itself has a sealed bearing in here and it has a, uh, a guide that runs through the back. This is, this is what they call the new style one. They had an old style one. It was just really was just squared off. And from what I understand, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna, we're gonna remove this from the pulley uh, we're just going to kind of press it out of there. Uh, my thought, I'm just going to use uh, going to use this this socket. I'm going to put the pulley up um, in the vise here, and I'm just going to gently tap this out. And then these centers, I'm going to take over to the lathe, and we're going to drill out using these bits here. I'm going to use this one. This is a standard 7 16th bit right here. I have a shorty also. I'm going to take this out to the boat uh, with me to drill out the bracket. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. I don't have a tremendous amount of clearance in front of uh, in front of the pulley and bracket. I do have enough. It's certainly serviceable. I wish I had some more. Um, but there's certainly more space in there than the last boat I owned, which was a uh, small block powered C-Ray Sundancer, which had literally no space around it. But uh, I'm really, I'm really happy to do this. I, I know that it's I'm definitely gonna rest easier at the helm knowing that this was done. Um, just to get a little bit technical, if we take a look at the bolts and say, well, the, the bolt that doesn't look that much bigger, how much bigger is it? Um, I just did a little bit of engineering math here and I took the, uh, I took the cross-sectional diameter of the stock bolt, which is 388 thousandths. And I used that to calculate the cross-sectional area, which is, um, which is this number right here, 1188.1188 .1188 square inches. And then I did the same thing with the upgraded bolt. And I came up here uh, with a greater cross-sectional area. And then what I did is just to see how much bigger it was, I just wanted to do the percent difference. So I took the, the cross-sectional area of the larger bolt, I divided it by the smaller bolt, I multiplied it by 100, and I came up with 124%. So really, this bolt here is 24% larger. It has 24% more cross-sectional area than this bolt. I mean, this bolt, I don't think this bolt is guaranteed to fail. But I think if you're really trying to rig your Cummins seaboard style and you're trying to be as preventative as possible, then upgrading to this bolt, it really is a no-brainer. It's cheap. It's easy. Okay. So what do you do if you don't have a lathe like I'm going to show you? Um, it's pretty easy. We're gonna come right over here to this computer. It's my little work desk here. And we're gonna get all the information we need. The actual uh, guide that I'm following is this one right here. This is the, um, this is the actual write-up that Seaboard did, or should I say Tony. Tony did on this. It explains, you know, what's wrong, what do you need, what do you need to do? Here's a shot over here of the lathe. Um, here's a shot of the drill drilling out the front. And here's the, uh, the upgraded bolt over here. Um, if you don't have a lathe, if you don't have the desire to actually do the upgrade like it's written here, you could just go in here uh, on the pulley kits and there's a few options that they have for you. Again, I'm just, I'm just doing the upgrade myself because I have the ability and the tools but maybe you want to replace your whole pulley because you feel the bearings are shot, they don't run smooth, you just want to do the bolt, um, the bolt and the spacer upgrade, that's all here, and then there's some other stuff on here, and then there's some stuff about upgrading it. And um, Tony Athens, they, they did a great job here really documenting the process. So again, I'm a big fan. Uh, I didn't come up with any of this stuff, I'm just showing you you know, what it looks like in the real world when somebody who's just working on their boat um, wants to go ahead and do one of these upgrades. What are my options? What does it look like? Why am I doing it? Uh, really, why am I doing it? I'm doing it as a piece of preventative maintenance so that I don't ever 
have a problem with that bolt in the future, ever. I don't ever want to have a problem with it. I don't ever want to have a problem that I could have prevented on my boat when I'm underway with my family and friends, ever. So that's my goal. So here they are, all ready to go, painted up, drilled out. There's the new bolts, and there's the bit that I'm going to use to modify the uh, the mounting bracket, which is threaded. I'm just going to drill that out, and then these will be through bolted. Uh, today's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. I'm going to get out to the boat on Sunday. So uh, we'll see you out there. <laughs> 